Hi folks, I believe it's time to find out the giveaway winner of the last giveaway which I did about uh, two videos back I think of the ALO Stank V2. But before we do that, let me talk about a new atomizer. I have the Greek stuff. I love Greeks. <laughs> this is amazing. Calyx by Leo. So with the Calyx you have an option to either choose FedEx or you can get it through regular post. I chose FedEx, faster you know. Nice FedEx package. Hmm, inside there is one more envelope. Open it. And here is what you get. This is the all metal tank, a screwdriver which comes with all Leo products nowadays and here is the Calyx. A nice instructions note and this is star of today's show, the Calyx. Drip tip included. The drip tip has certain special features which I will discuss later. What else is there? Well, you have a spare pack which has got uh, two terminal post screws, an o-ring and a small grub screw and this brass rod which helps in aligning the build cup, fixing it and removing it and uh, for various other purposes. I will discuss about that later. So this is the calyx. It's a rebuildable tank atomizer and some pretty unique features are inbuilt into it. First and foremost let me tell you this is a smexy looking atomizer. I like the overall looks of it. Short and crisp. I'm really liking this. Pips, those are cut into it. Looks nice. Gives it a glittery kind of feel. A very, you know, precious gem kind of, uh, you know, looks to it. Now mind you, this drip tip and adapter, these are two pieces. And the calyx doesn't come with this uh, contraption. It's a little tight to take out for the first time. Okay, so this is how the calyx would come in. You may buy a drip tip. This drip tip separately. This is a drip tip. You may buy this drip tip separately and I would consider buying it because this drip tip along with this drip tip adapter, this is an AFC adapter. You see this has got a hole here. So you can take additional air while taking your draw through this drip tip. The drip tip also has this hole here. So these two holes matches up. Now the drip tip has a you know small pip here to indicate where the hole is. So this two matches up to give it a more area draw. This is especially useful when you make super low ohm coils and want to take a cloud chasing kind of you know draw. So you can have this additional airflow. Now this can be controlled here by moving it this way. Or else if you don't want this additional airflow and if you are not into super low ohm coils then you can just buy this drip tip because this drip tip is classy looking one. Looks beautiful. So you can just buy this drip tip, attach it on top of your calyx and vape on. You lose the top airflow which you don't need if you don't do sub ohms. But the calyx already has a AFC here. It's basically a bottom air fed tank system. So this screw can you see? and you get this screwdriver as well in the package this screw can be loosened and tightened to get your airflow see like this 
or you can take it completely out and that makes it a quite a airy tank system and a good thing about this calyx is because of this bottom air fit system it gives amazing flavor any atomizer which can you know make air come from the bottom of the coil into your mouth will always give you a better you know flavor so the basic airflow control is from the bottom this is the top airflow is an additional features which you may want which you may not want you have air channels cut into it so if you have mods which doesn't have air slots this can feed air into this air holes which are on either side of the 510 post next special feature it has got juice control uses this chimney it can be unthreaded lifted up or closed completely for that you need a tighter drip tip which this drip tip these are two o-ring drip tips the drip tip as well as the adapter a two o-ring so they solve the purpose very well so for example yeah it's pretty tight i'll be washing it then lubing it and then we will make a build and i'll talk further so this is the drip tip and the you know combination you can use any drip tip that you want but remember use a tighter drip tip preferably double o-ringed because you need to open this juice control the juice control opens this way if you notice the chimney will open up see the chimney is rotating and opening now for any such juice control atomizer you don't need to open so much i'm just showing it you know to make you understand you don't need to open it so much a single turn is good enough for the calyx it's recommended not even a single turn three-fourth of a turn but a single turn is a maximum as even if for a high vg juice so if you open it up you can see the juice feed slots so for top filling atomizers a good part of juice control systems that you can you can tighten the juice control completely you tighten the jc completely fill up juice you don't worry about leakage and it will not gurgle it will not you know flood the system while filling every calyx is serialized now to remove it first is remove the drip tip or the drip tip adapter and drip tip combo then this is your top cap which can be removed for filling the tank here so this is how you fill it you fill it put the top cap back the top cap has silicon o-rings these are not regular delrin o-rings silicon o-rings are little softer material and pinch wherever they are sitting onto more tightly so this o-ring sits nicely and silicon o-rings because they are softer it is easy for juice control now this is a quartz glass tank another unique feature let me remove the glass tank and show you it's all threaded it was threaded from top it is threaded from bottom now this is a threaded tank for the first instance because it's all not lubed yet so it'll be little difficult i will advise you to immediately after purchase and after receiving it wash it and go lube it though it comes fully washed but you know standard practice with all atomizers i always wash them now this is a glass tank and it is threaded into the system so how is that achieved it is achieved with these two stainless steel rings on both ends these stainless steel rings are permanently fit these are glued together at both ends and then uv sealed so in our regular standard usage these rings are not coming apart but there is a warning given the instruction very clearly says do not boil the glass tube because boiling may because of the contraction and uh, you know expansion during uh, boiling and heat and cold this may come out but in regular cases it doesn't so it's better not to boil it a pretty thick glass tank yes glass will break if it falls it will crack but the good part is leo also sells these stainless steel tanks another thing i would always recommend while purchasing it buy the stainless steel tank as well because that gives you that you know additional safety if this breaks you have this at least and this has got some pretty cool engraving laser etched done i'm liking it so here is the chimney and the juice control remove the chimney and you have your deck 
unique deck once again. A little kind of Eviva by Atmostic. You can uh, get that feel, but it's not same. This deck is exactly that you have in the Apollo RDA from same model by Leo. So here is the Apollo folks. This is RDA made by Leo, same model. I have done pictorials of this on ECF, but I'll do a video review also one of these days because this is my most favored favorite uh, dripper. Now, if you see, this has the same deck. Yeah, both are the same decks. So the deck has got unique features. One, this cup, the building cup, the coil cup is removable and this can be totally removed this way. It can be unthreaded out. So you can wash them, clean them up. Even this can be totally removed. In my Apollo RDA pictorial and ECF, you can see how I have removed it. So how do I build the deck? This is the contact point. This is the negative contact and this is the positive contact or vice versa, whatever. So both the contact points has two screws. These are your terminal screws. So you have two negative terminal screws, two positive terminal screws. For a traditional single coil, you can mount the coil here, trap the legs on either side of this uh, posts. And then the feeding is from here. This is the juice port, feeding port. Juice comes in from here. Your wick tails are sitting here, exactly facing the juice feed ports. And the wick tail picks up the juice and feeds to the coil. I have made several builds with my Apollo RDA. Some of the pictures are coming down now. You see? But we don't need to run into such technicalities and we can just put a single coil here. And that performs perfectly with my Apollo. This deck is pretty much customizable. You can make n number of type of you know coil settings in this. Single coil, dual coil side by side or dual coils this way between these two posts. One coil here, one coil here. Tri coils, first coil, second coil, third coil. Quad coils, one coil, second coil, third coil fourth coil and sky is the limit so it's a 22 mm atomizer and the juice capacity altogether is 4.5 ml so let me give it a thorough wash and then come back and build it in front of camera for you guys so friends here it's all washed and laid out uh, for rebuilding and i've applied uh, generous amounts of you know vaseline into all the o-ring parts you can loop them with the any Vaseline, any petroleum jelly or even e-juice. Now I'm not going to rebuild any fancy wick and coil today because uh, you have seen my pictures before. Uh, I have done enough of them with uh, the Apollo. It's the same thing. Now I have made a simple single micro coil, my standard micro coil, 28 gauge nichrome wire wrapped on a 2.4 mm uh, screwdriver. I use the same coil with all my atomizers. It works well for me. Now for mounting the coil, it is wise to mount it with the coil head facing downwards. That is to say the legs of the coil coming from top. So then place the screwdriver right into this well between these two uh, terminal ends. And holding it with your finger, you can tap the coil legs on both screws. And let me lift the build deck up. Why? Because if you see the space between the well and the screw is less so the good part of this attitude is you can unscrew this for which remember this uh, brass rod is there in the spares bag that can be used to open it you can actually open it by hand also but you can use this brass rod like so to open or close the cup this is basically provided for that purpose. Closing, opening. So let me lift it up a bit. 
after uh, you know attaching the coil i can always tighten it down yeah holding it between the fingers tightening the screw down one down next to go same thing here you go and now while keeping the screwdriver inside you can use that as leverage and you know tighten the cup up so here you go by the way while tightening this my leg end already broke one of them the other one i'll cut it my one of the leg ends leg tails already cut out so good enough this i'll cut later now if you notice it's not sitting straight it's slightly sitting in angular way this leg has come closer to this post this leg has come closer to this post so the coil is well mounted actually i'm liking this coil i'll not pinch it i'll keep it like that slightly spaced so here is the coil now time to check the resistance so here you go like i do usually this one is 1.3 ohms good i usually vape between 1 point between 1 ohm and 1.3 ohm so let me pulse it up and see how it looks yeah glowing well Now I can squeeze it, I can give it a pinch, nah, I'll leave it, let me see how it works, firing out well, so everything is fine, time to trim the coil tail. Standard procedure, cut it as close as possible to the screw. After trimming the coil legs folks always ensure that they are pressed inwards so that they don't touch the chimney else you'll have shots. Yeah so that's my coil. Now time to wick it. Again my standard practice I'll be using rayon. So a regular rayon uh, length cut about uh, 4 or 5 centimeters and then split it into two for a 2.4 mm coil i need exactly half of the stock coil width so around four centimeter press it down so that you can split it into two halves and here So this two can be used for two such coils. I'll use one. Now time to roll it a bit. Not too tight, slight roll so that it takes some kind of wick form. Twisting it from the other end, pull it through. Now this side we need only about one centimeter. Both the sides roughly about one centimeter. So eyeballing it, cut it off. Here and here. Thereafter slowly unwrapping both the sides because they were rolled right and these needs to you know catch juice from both the ends. 
loosen them up a bit then uh, you know prime the wick a bit so that you can push it inside i'll be using uh, some kts juices these are one fantastic you know juice so prime the wick a bit that helps to put it you know position it inside using a flathead screwdriver put a u shape like so and then push this inside like this why i did that u shape is this part acts as a reservoir keeps juice ready for your next draw repeat the other side same way flathead screwdriver give it a bend that is why priming it helps give it a bend and then push it down i have put this u bend because i know it will weak better an important point to note is you see these are the two feed holes juice feed holes so your coil should be facing the feed holes so that once you open the juice control juice can soak in there this two part of the wick see the wick ends are visible from here can you see i think you can so we are good now prime it some more and give it a test fire before we you know assemble everything together I forgot to tell you one good part of this deck is because you see this uh, you know the rebuilding deck the rebuilding cup it is lifted from the base plate and the air hole is actually is in this so there are very less chances of juice leaking out from your bottom afc hole so time to give it a test fire Yep, we have vapor. Good, perfect. Now assembling everything back. First goes the chimney, which is the juice control. Keep it tight because we'll be filling it. Then goes the tank. Now we have a. I have a choice of using this tank. you know, this doesn't come with the kit you need to purchase extra so either use this tank just to show you how it looks it looks fantastic top cap then the adapter this adapter is also extra and the drip tip here is how it will look in all metal looks good actually but i'll be using the glass tank yeah lubing helps it's not so easy to you know when it came from out of the package it was difficult but that is expected so the glass tank ensure the juice control is tight fill it up from dropper it'll take one hell of a lot of time let me fill it up in a you know different bottle so here i'm using a regular bottle these are uh, 50 ml bottles now on a 50 ml bottle i have filled it up to nearly little over half so it should be around 8 ml so more than half of it should be able to go here 4.5 ml it says 
let us see much better normal bottle than the dropper ones I hate the dropper ones it takes a hell of a lot of time to fill up pretty easy to fill any kind of bottle will work even the dropper but I would have taken a lot of time as usual folks any tank system fill till 90% keep about 10% empty space so yep exactly half so it takes around four and a half ml the top cap ensure that the o-ring is there the drip tip and the top airflow adapter combo and I need to open up my AFC screw yeah. and keeping it flush mounted let's see how it works so here folks mounted on a board mecha by the same model by Leo it's in uh, 18500 mode there is 18500 uh, EFS purple inside which is freshly charged the coil is 1.3 ohms my first wave from a calyx Nice. I've still not opened the juice control because the wick was already well soaked. Looks beautiful, whips well. The top AFC is fully open. Let me remove it and show you for folks who don't want to use a, you know, AFC. So I've removed the cap. Now it's only the drip tip. So airflow is now only through the bottom, nothing from top. Vapor has reduced a bit, but still plentiful. And flavor, shade higher. It's a flavorful atty. So without the top one, the flavor is a little better, I think. I think so. Yeah, much better flavor because uh, now the air is coming only through the bottom. Let me open the juice control now. So I put the adapter back on and you see the juice control opens up. Like so. I'm giving it one turn. Was it one turn? Okay, let's see. Feeding well. I can see some bubbles coming up after I opened it up. Yeah. So there you go folks. A unique RTA. Feeding pretty well. Working fine. 
looks great uh, unique features AFC from the bottom bottom air fed Pyrex uh, uh, quad tank sorry quad tank top filling double AFC if you purchase this adapter and the drip tip combo you have a, a double AFC from top as well as bottom uh, choice of uh, steel tank this tank is sexy looking juice control and vaping like a dream it's like a dripper you see this tank is you know feeding the base of the deck continuously you can keep opening as per your liking if you feel it is flooded tighten it up juice control helps and there is always juice in the base so the two u-shaped wick tails which are you know lying down there they are catching juice up so it's like a dripper the you know the coil is always moist always wet so you get good flavor and good vapor out of it now with this top uh, afc opened i would say it is now pretty open draw it's opener than a uh, k4 a lot of people folks have commented that they don't like uh, the k 4 draw it seems it's tight i personally feel it is bloody loose the another loose airflow uh, open draw airflow is the gus stia tricoil tricoil needs a lot of air that's one absolutely open i you know keep it in midway same i'm doing with the k4 the k4 is also pretty open as per me uh, alconigan is uh, you know uh, open but not too open this one has surpassed now this is the most open draw atomizer i have it's like a dripper this dripper can be opened up like anything if you have the xtr uh, setup it takes airflow from top it takes airflow from bottom like this and then i personally only feel there is air no flavor in that that's my opinion i like a semi tight draw i do lung inhales even now I'm doing direct lung hits so not too open less than the K4 is my kind of you know uh, vaping style but a lot of folks will enjoy completely I mean I know they enjoy completely open draw this is completely open draw it's like a dripper like this full air so now with now with both open top and bottom it's airy I would prefer not having this top. I don't need that much air. Yep. Much better, still enough vapor. So it's a winner situation. Lots of pros in this. Looks fantastic. I'll make a pictorial subsequently uh, and I'll also make another video with a couple of different builds I think. This is the most simple build, you have seen it. I I'm sure you guys can replicate this build, it's absolutely simple. And vapes like a charm. Pretty good. So now the time has come for selecting the winner. Okay, I've placed all the names in a randomizer. Uh, that randomizer is selected for my uh, son's school project. So it's a it's a randomizer uh, online. I have put all the names there. We have 45 names. There are 46 likes and there are 47 comments. From 47 comments, two guys uh, are not uh, participating in the giveaway. So there are a total 45. I have put all the 45 names and let's see how it works out now. So guys, uh, here are the 45 names. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 till 45 all the people who had commented on that post and liked it so now once i click this button one of you will be selected at this arrow mark point so all the best to you folks let's play
This is a program taken from my kid's uh, school, by the way. And here we go. Oh, wow. Ruth Sivers, you are the winner. Congratulations, buddy. Oh, wow. Rick, you are the winner. Great, buddy. So, uh, kindly now send me a PM or a, a email to me. You can use ECF and contact me from there. Give me your postal address so that I can post it out to you. I can post I can post it out any day. It's packed and ready. So congratulations once again, brother. Uh, shipping is free. Just give me your address and I'll ship it out tomorrow, day after tomorrow, with a tracking uh, international parcel. I'll see where where you're located, and uh, I'll send you the tracking number. My first giveaway. Congratulations. And thank you folks for participating in that. It was a pleasure uh, to be able to do something out for uh, the vaping community. Nice one. Back to the Calyx. I'm enjoying it. So let me close the video now with the last vape. Uh, the top here, so I've removed it. Fantastic. Bye bye friends. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you till next.